Hi friends, uh, continuing on from the previous tutorial uh, in which I demonstrated the meaning of all these four lines. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a Caesar cipher or round of 13 or OT uh, 13 cipher. So in the previous one, I explained these four lines. So what I'm going to be doing in this is that I am going to be explaining the for loop. So in here we are creating a for loop. So what does it do? Let's copy this in here. Uh, so what it does is that uh, for the range of input length so whatever we are typing the length like if you type in hello it's five characters or if you type abc it's three characters so what it does for i and range of input length so whatever the length is it puts the, that length uh, in i and i it reads through each of them so this is how it works if we try type in i and save it and run this Sorry, on this one. So if you run this and we type in ABC, what print does is it that it goes through ABC, so it's three characters. So remember one thing that in computer everything starts at zero, not one. So in here it says that zero. So zero, one, two, it's three characters. A is zero, B is two, and C is three. So what it does is that if you type in, let's say hello. So what it does is it goes through hello. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's like H E L L O. What uh, the for loop does, it goes through the whatever we type in and it goes through each one of them one by one. First it goes through H, then E, then L, then L, and then again O. So what we do in here next is the is this. We are saying that uh, character is equal to a strength input, and we are saying I. So what it does is that um, if you print it, so what it does is that we are giving this uh, variable in here a string input is whatever we type. So if we type in A B C, the first character in here, it uh, we saw that it was zero when we out printed it I. So when the, the first time this runs. It is equal to zero the second time it runs it is one the third time it's run it's three so however many characters that we have it goes through each one of them and it shows us those characters so let's just save this one and run it so if you run this and we type in abc what it does is it shows us abc so previously it showed us zero one two three so now it is showing us one abc why because the first time it is zero so in here it checks the end string input. So in a string input, we type in a, uh, sorry, a b c. The first time it is zero. So the zero character, the zero character is a. The first character is b. The third character, it is uh, c. So zero one two and then a b c. So this is what it does. It goes through each of those characters. This i, the first time it runs, this is equal to zero. The second time it runs, it's equal to one, and so on and so forth. So no matter what is the length of our characters it goes through that so if we run it again and this time you say def so what it does is that it goes through all of them it says that def is equal to 3 so it is 0 1 and 2 remember in computer everything starts at 0 so it is 0 1 2 so it checks as what is that character 0 it is 1 so what character is at number 1 it's e so what character is at number 2 it's f so it outputs it so this character variable holds each each of those lines now let's move to the next line the location character so let's put it in here what it does let's also use this print location of character so previously we saw that in here it showed us all those the, uh, the location first it shows us the number how many characters are then it shows us what characters are and those numbers so it's d e f so what it does this time it says that find the number of it and in, in here so we saw that uh, let's run it uh, let me explain it with an example in here so this time if you type in a b c sorry let's save it first
so this is not alpha this is alphabets this is this one guys i'm using this one so the alphabets find character so in here what it does it is that it finds the character previously in here we saw that it shows us d e f now we are finding the position that is in here so d is in fourth uh, fourth one and uh, uh e is in the fifth one and f is equal in the sixth one so let's run it again and type in a b c sorry what is this going to demonstrate line location of character alpha dot find character location of character well, it is not defined okay forgot to save it again this time in enter in the string i'm typing in a b c so it shows us the location of it so a is equal to zero b is equal to one c is equal to three so it shows us in here a is equal to one and in here it's zero one two three so what this does is that uh, it shows us the location of those things so if we type in let's say d e f it's three four five it shows us these things in here what are the locations of it so previously when we checked this it showed us the characters what those characters are now it is showing us the location of those things that are in in here in alphabets so a is equal to this one the first one so it is zero then it's b and c and this this is how it works what it does is that it checks for the location of it so if you are typing in a in which location it resides in here so it resides on location the first one which is zero then it resides b is resides in this one so if we type something like hello it checks this which one so h is at seven a b c d e f g sorry this one h seven this is the seventh one because everything has started zero so this is the eighth character so now what we do on the next line is that um We go to this file what this line does is that it says find a new location so if you come in here so it says that what it does is that uh, it creates a new variable and says that the location of the characters which in here it found that one was for hello one was at seven then e was at four and eleven and four so what it does this time it says that the new location should be whatever these characters or these numbers are increase it by three so let's print this new location so let me explain it to you by this example so it says new location and save it in here if i run it and we type in abc so it shows us that it adds it by three so in here we saw that whatever it was it added it by three so a b c it was zero one two three sorry zero one two so a is equal to zero b is one and c is three sorry c is two so now what it does is that it adds it so zero plus three is three one plus three is four and 2 plus 3 is 5 remember in computer i'm saying it again in computer everything is at order 0 so a is equal to at 0 so we are what we are doing in here we are adding 3 to it now if you in, type in something else like hello what it does is it adds it previously it was 7 h was at character 7 now it is adding 3 to it so it's 10 4 was uh, e was at 4 now it is adding 3 to it it is 7 so whatever it does it adds three to it it doesn't have to be three you can add four five whatever you want um now what you're seeing is that this remember when i created first i this is string output it was blank so here what you're doing is that we're using it in this line okay let me delete this so what this line does is that it adds it so this what it means is that uh, a string output plus equals alpha new location so what it does plus equals mean that uh, it's like this a string output is equal to it's like a string output plus so what it does this variable holds whatever and it is what is in it already so that the first time this for loop runs it's empty so it says that in the alphabet in here find a new location so what is the new location 
in here if we type in let's say print string output so if you type at first let's save it so it says that uh, alphabet the new location new location in here we, we output it we saw that it is 14 or 10 so it finds those characters in here so if you run this again and let's say we're typing an a sorry and string output alphabet is not defined it's alphabets not alphabet let's save it again let's say we type in a it shows us a d so previously what it did in here it added 3 to it so a is equal to what a is equal to 0 0 plus 3 is equal to 3 so in here if we see it a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c and then d is equal to 3 so 0 1 2 3 now you can see that a is uh, turned into 3 sorry a is equal a is uh, turned into d so if we type it again let's type in d d plus 3 so it's e f g it just shows as g so if we type in more characters let's type in a b c what it does is that the first time it runs it's it's empty so the string character the string output variable so it only shows us one variable and one value one character the second time it runs it already holds the first one which in this case is d so it the second time it runs it goes through it and it adds b to it so b plus 3 is e b c d e the third time it runs at f so what this line is that uh, it adds this those characters all those characters one by one and it shows us at the end so instead of doing this the real the easier way of doing it would be to just get one line so if we type in print and then we type in encrypted text and then we say a string output so if you go to file save it now if we type in this character of a b c what it does it moves every uh, character by tree so a becomes d b becomes e c becomes f if we run it again like something like hello it becomes k h o o r so a, a k h becomes k e becomes h so all of those characters are moved with three characters moved the three characters above so left uh, let's type in let's say like uh, a c e s so what it does is it brings the three characters so this is it for this tutorial guys i will be covering and in the next tutorial i will be explaining some other things that is wrong with this uh, program something uh, uh, that uh, will allow you to enter in here your manually specifying tree and the next i'm going to be explaining how to add this uh, so that the user could input how many characters you want to add um, so this is it for this tutorial guys if you don't uh, understand this if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one